everyone, this is Bridget Quigg with an, another improv game for you. It is another storytelling game. It's called Portkey. And my dear friend, Matt Smith, who is a comedian, performer, improv teacher here in Seattle, gets full credit for teaching it to me. Um, he named it Portkey, at least, I believe. So the idea with Portkey is it's shared storytelling, kind of storytelling in a round, all right? So you're not really building the same story together, which is common in improv. In this case, it's really about bonding, getting to know each other a little bit, sharing some thoughts. This is really good for coworkers who could stand to get to know each other a little bit better or other groups of people who just don't know each other that well. The magical thing about it too is it's also incredible for people who think they know each other well and bonding in this way of telling short stories to each other is really fun and makes you even closer. So. Say you get in a circle, maybe there's five, seven of you. It can get a little long if you get up to like 10 or 12 people. Like five to seven is a nice number. And the idea is that everybody's gonna tell a brief story from their life, like brief, like sentences, okay? That's how it goes and it goes well because then everyone gets a chance and it's fun. So port key, the idea is the phrase you're gonna use every time you begin your story is you're gonna say a word and the word is either the suggestion that starts the story telling off, it might be treetop, and then everyone's gonna listen to the person in front of them. So if I'm sitting and we're going around this way, the person who just told a story over here, I'm gonna listen to their story and I'm gonna need to grab a word from their story that I heard, and then I'm gonna tell a story based on that word. So that's the improv element. You don't know what story you're gonna tell until your turn comes. And the beautiful, amazing thing is you beautiful, amazing human who is wired to tell stories, who loves stories, who is full of stories, has heard a million stories, you're gonna get one. You're gonna come up with something off that word no matter what, it's gonna happen, it's gonna work out. So I'll just do a quick example. So we'll start with where I started. I'm the improv teacher and I say to the group, all right, Brenda, you're first and yours is treetop. So Brenda goes, okay. Treetop. Treetop takes me to my bedroom home. When I was a little girl, um, between the ages of eight and 10, we lived in Tallahassee, Florida, and we lived in a community that just kind of had some really nice, pretty trees. And just outside my window was this one beautiful tree. I don't know what it was called, but I would look at it every morning and it just kind of calmed me down and got me ready to start my day. It felt like it was just sort of part of my life. So there's my treetop story. The next person would say, and I actually didn't do that at the beginning, did I? Next person would say, Florida. Florida takes me to Disney World, where I took my family last year, and all I remember is being very sweaty and eating copious amounts of ice cream, but that everyone else thought it was great. And then the next person would say, family. Family takes me to last Christmas, when my family actually went skiing together for the first time ever, and our favorite part truly was hot chocolate and one of the ski instructors that my son bonded with and thought was really cool, and now he's super into skiing, which is great. Next person, son. Son takes me to, you know, myself. I was a son. I, whatever people want to say, um, it's it's pretty cool stuff. Watch watch it, try it, and see what happens. It, it creates magic glue, and you find out things about people you never would have known. I had a group of women one time at a session that I led who all found out, they all were classmates actually in this case, but they all found out they had all traveled to Europe after college and dated or gone out with men from various European countries in that time of their life. And they like were representing Wales and Italy and Poland. It was hilarious. And they had the best time discovering this about each other, all now mostly you know married to other people with kids and um, far, far beyond that time in their life. So just let it be, let it happen, try it, and I think you'll find that it's it's just yummy. It's just really fun. Pork key. All right, thank you.